We are here tonight to talk about a unique, in the Ruth Pratt strong version of unique uh, program in Greece. There is nothing like this program in Greece, and we're thrilled to be able to present it to you. Almost a year ago, a little over a year ago, the college was honored in Washington, D.C. by the American Hellenic Institute to be the first institution they had honored many individuals, but we were the first institution honored for our contributions to Hellenism. At that time in Washington, D.C., I said to the audience that I felt that no institution, no educational institution on American soil had lived through the historical circumstances that this institution has since 1875. You, of course, here in Greece understand this history. Smyrna in 1875 and 1922, and all that was a part of Greece's experience in the 20th century and in the 21st century. That has been our history as well. This is the proud legacy of our institution, uh, a legacy of service, of dedication, of extraordinary women and extraordinary others who have sought to make a difference in the lives of students and in the lives through them in the life of society. That proud legacy, which traces its history through very bleak and dark times, but has yet emerged to be a great institution, is of course a specific encouragement to us in these days in Greece. The first transformative program that has moved us very aggressively this year in this direction is the program that we're here to talk about tonight, the Libra program. This program enables highly qualified students from Dury to study abroad for six months, followed by a six-month internship at one of the Libra affiliates around the world. I am pleased to be able to announce tonight that the first 10 Libra interns left Athens for their assignments in January. I saw them in the conference room downstairs as they were preparing to go. It was unbelievably inspiring, and they are now preparing to come back to the campus and share their experiences. Some will be graduating later, later this month. Up to 20 new interns will follow them in the next academic year, and you're going to meet some of these interns who have been selected for the program, and they will be followed in subsequent years with up to 50 students per year once the program is fully implemented. Students are selected after a rigorous application and interview process, and this program was inspired by an extraordinary vision and an extraordinary gentleman. It is supported by Libra Group Chairman and their CEO, George Logothetis, who is our special guest this evening. Well, now it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the gentleman who is really responsible for making these dreams come true for these students. It's my pleasure to introduce to you George Logothetis. George was raised in London and is now based in New York City. He is responsible for transforming his family shipping company into a worldwide conglomerate of companies in many industries. Today, the Libra Group is a privately owned global conglomerate comprised of diversified business interests of the Logothetis family spanning 20 locations across four continents and is predominantly focused on five core sectors, shipping, aviation, real estate, hospitality, and energy. George is, of course, a remarkable friend of Greece, an astonishing friend to this college, but especially a friend to students who are having transformative experience because of his vision and generosity. It gives me great pleasure to present to you all George Logothetis. Wow, <laughs> I think I want to be an intern after having seen that. <laughs> it's great to be here, everyone, and um, I think I, I'm going to start off by explaining the roots of this program and how, where the inspiration came from. It's a story that's a wonderful story. It's a very Greek story, and um, started off in, in, uh, in, in July of 2010. Uh, my brother, Con, who's the vice chairman of the group, has a house in Chios, which is the island that, that, that we come from. And there was a guy working in this house for six weeks. And um, I, I could tell this was a very bright man. I don't know what it was. There was just something very charismatic and bright about him. After six weeks, he went up to my brother and he said to him, Mr. Logothetis, can I please meet you for 10 minutes? 
And my brother said, uh, his name is uh, Fanis Mirmingusis, by the way. And, and my brother said, Fanny, of course, uh, no problem. Ella, come sit down, let's, let's have a meeting. And he said, sorry, I can't meet now. I need 10 minutes. And my brother said, okay, I'll wait for you. <laughs> so Fanis went downstairs. He showered, he shaved, he put on a suit, he got his briefcase, and he came and met my brother. My brother with his swimming trunks, you know, was, was a, bit, a little bit taken aback. Um, and Fanny said the following to him. He said to him, Mr. Logotheres, I took this job for six weeks in order to meet you now for these 10 minutes. I studied in the United States. I'm an electrical engineer by training. I'm here in Greece. I feel like I have no hope and I have no future. Please help me to have a future. I will do anything, anywhere. I'll work for any group subsidiary you send me to. So my brother <laughs> was a little bit taken aback, but to cut a long story short, Fanis today is in Latvia, and he's supervising the construction of six bio facilities that our European renewable energy company is building there. He's got 30 Latvians reporting to him. <laughs> <You know? laughs> So when we heard, when, you know, when, uh, we heard the Fanny story, um, and this obviously combined with the crisis that this country is going through now, we decided that we had to do something to help. And um, words are cheap, <laughs> actions are not. So what, what we decided to do was put this program together with ACG. I can only say that it's been the most professional experience. Uh, you know, every single person that we've come into contact with and our people have come into contact with at, at the American College has been of the highest professionalism, character, decency, correctness. And this program is made possible by, two, by us and, and, and by them. So I want to thank you and all the faculty and everyone that's been involved because, uh, you know, it's just been wonderful. And seeing, this, seeing all these interns now uh, talking, uh, you know, it's like cl close the first loop <laughs> almost. So, you know, we have a crisis in this country, uh, that's no secret, um, and I think that, uh, again, I, I, grew up, I grew up in London, I, I live in New York now, but my heart is Greek and my soul is Greek. The British accent, and there's a, a more American mentality, but the, the roots are here, and I think everyone has a duty to help. Um, you know, we can complain and moan, and that's just a path to nowhere, actually. Um, helping is actually doing things, is actually actively helping, and the more you have, the higher the duty that exists to help, I believe. I remember when I was young, I was very fortunate to be running our shipping business when I was very young. We had a couple of ships, and I was 19 years old when I was made the CEO. Very strange story. Um, but I remember very well all those that helped me and hindered me. Because they were both. There was people in the middle that I can't remember. <laughs> there were people that helped and hindered. And I said to myself when I was young, I said, um, I'm going to be one that helps when I'm older. And so this is part of the process of giving back that, um, that we, have, we have put together. It empowers people. Um, it's a very important word. You can't mature without being empowered. You can't grow up if you're not given responsibility. So seeing you know, the, these kids having been given responsibility, having grown up, and having this life-changing experience is, is, is just wonderful to see. Um, I want to give a message to the interns, the class of 2013. You're going to be ambassadors um, for, for, for me, for my family, for my brother, for my father, for Greece. You know, uh, when we were first setting up the Libra group, I would travel around the world and I'd meet people in, in Thailand and in Russia and in, in uh, South America, Panama. Everyone, but everyone I met, oh, you're Greek, fantastic. They all loved us. They don't anymore. <laughs> you know... I, <laughs> I don't get that love. <laughs> but, you know, it's being a good ambassador that changes people's perceptions. And you have a duty. You know, I hope you all work very hard. I hope you all really benefit from this. But don't forget the ambassadorial duty that you all, that is bestowed on you, ultimately. I want to talk a little bit about our group and, um, and, and, and what we really stand for. It's a family business. And that word family is not just a six-letter word. It's a very important word for us. And, and we govern our group like that. It's, it's quite unique. And we, we, we're very proud of what we've built, but we're more proud of how we've built what we've built. Um, that's a very distinguishing element. Um, you know, one of, one of the interns, I won't say which one, but uh, one of the interns that I met on my travels, uh, he took me to one side uh, one, one day and he said to me, Mr. Logotheris, thank you very much for showing me what is possible, not what is impossible. 
And this is a statement that will stay in my mind for a long time. Um, and, and, and it just felt so good. I think that, you know, if over a lifetime you, you give less than you take, sorry, let me get this right, you give more than you take, <laughs> you know, it, it gives happiness. If you take more than you give, it's a path to a vacuum and, and, and misery at the end of the day. You can never take enough. So give, you feel good about giving as well. Um, I want to sort of make one... Uh, you know, talk a little bit about belief and perhaps the crisis that Greece is going through now. Um, there's no belief. Everyone is sort of almost destroyed psychologically more than anything by, the, by what's happening. And without belief that the country can improve, there will be no improvement. Well, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we hope uh, the students have, have get gathered and garnered. And I think it's pretty clear from the video, so maybe I'm double talking. But we hope that they get a different perspective of the world, um, the constant bombardment about the crisis, the negativity, the depression, it just becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy at the end of the day. And they get to see something different. They get to see a little bit of hope. They're empowered. They're given responsibility. So they are almost freer. <laughs> they come back to Greece freer than when they left. And, um, and it feels really good to be a part of that, I have to say. Put here pride, pride to be Greek. Is there any pride left? I mean, we should never lose that pride. It's an ancient culture, it's a great culture, um, it's been battered, and it, it's almost one is ashamed to be Greek today. Wherever I go, I get such negativity. But we have to change that individually. It's not going to change by accepting it. You know, we have to stand up for what it means to be Greek and, and, and lead by example. And as I say, good news travels fast. So finally, I just want to encourage everyone here to help as they can. As I say, complaining is the path to complacency. It doesn't help anything. But if we actually do something, if we actually give back in some tangible way, and giving can be many ways. You can give money, you can give hope, you can give inspiration, you can give advice, you can give love. But give something and just try to escape from this almost uh, psychological bubble of depression, if that makes any sense. Because nothing's going to change unless we escape that. So on that note, uh, thank you very much, and um, onwards we go. <laughs>